Hello, KCPS science teachers and others. If you're joining us for this video, this one doesn't necessarily apply to just science, so I'll push it out for anyone who wants access. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how you can use the lockdown browser still with Illuminate, even though we're using quick codes. Um, so let's just jump right into it. I've got for us, I am going to, boom, now you guys can see the Chromebook. Um, and so here's the key for doing the lockdown browser. Um, before students log in, so their screen will either look like this or more likely they'll have their user icon and others. But no matter whether they're here or there, down at the bottom, uh, you'll see the apps. Click the apps. And at least on this one, it's the second one from the top. I don't know if that's going to be standard across all student devices, but you want the one that says Illuminate Lockdown Browser. We'll go ahead and let that load up. And what this is going to let us do is um, launch into any of our um, tests with the quick codes. The students will just have to manually type them in, which really isn't too hard. Um, first, they need to put in their student ID. Um, depending on the student, I found this could um, work either with just their username, but some students need to have their full email. So for this one, um, I did find the full email needed to be used. So just depends student on student, but full email should get you through. Now, and then for the access code, so all you're going to do on the day of testing, you don't need to give the students the link at all. All you're going to do is just give them that um, the code that we give you, um, which is typically just a few letters and numbers. So I'm pulling up um, my quick code right now. And so you'll see a student will type in capital Y. Actually, let's try it without capitals. And we're going to see if those even matter. So Y4ZY653. Couple of them are capitals. Some weren't. So capital letters don't matter. Um, but that's, and then all that does is confirms the student, confirms the test, and then you can just hit confirm. And now look, the student is into the testing. They can't open up other browsers. So that locks down any possible cheating. You won't have to sit and monitor behind every screen um, now that you do it this way. So let me come back to here, repin my video. And I hope that you guys found that video short, easy, and extremely helpful. So um, reach out to me or the tech teams at your building. If you have any questions, always happy to help. See you guys in the next video.